my name is Kathy, and I want to thank you for coming to my speech this evening. My speech will be on childhood obesity in America. Is childhood obesity becoming an epidemic in America? I think so, and for the following reasons. The reasons are that we have parents who are absent from the home. They're either working two jobs, they're single parents working multiple jobs, working late hours, or even working physically vigorous jobs that are so stressful that they're worn out when they get home. And they no longer have time to take time with their children. Another reason that childhood obesity has come rampant in America is that um, we don't have healthy meals at home anymore. Parents are likely to go through the drive through at McDonald's, grab a burger, uh, or some fried chicken from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, there's no salads, no vegetables, no, no proteins and healthy items that the children need to have healthy bones and to live a healthy lifestyle. And that goes right along with uh, fast food replacing home-cooked meals. Those parents who are working late at night, who have two jobs and children at home, they simply go through the drive-thru, pick up a few burgers, fries, bring them home, and here's dinner. Who gets a salad when they go to the drive-thru? I don't. I get a burger and fries just like everyone else. Another reason we have childhood obesity in America today is the lunches at um, our schools have changed dramatically. We've gone from having healthy three-course meals with a green, a vegetable, a protein, and a dairy product to now the students have snack machines and Coke machines that they're going to choose from. Their parents give them lunch money and they go to the snack machine for their lunches. A Snickers and a Coke. I'm good. They're not going to go in the lunch line and get whatever's being served for the day. And I think that we should uh, come together as a community and advocate that these machines be removed from the school system. Another thing missing from our school system is physical activity. Um, they... Uh, well, here's our fast food versus our home-cooked meal deal here. As I said earlier, we got burgers and fries versus chicken, salads, and fresh veggies. And last but not least, there are no physical education classes in the schools anymore. Some schools do have them, but most schools have removed physical education from the curriculum because they don't deem it necessary for the child's education. Little do they know that without physical education, we're going to have children that grow up with diabetes, with health problems, heart disease, uh, problems with their knees, ankles, and other bones in their body, um, and they just take it away. Primary schools have taken recess out of their programs. They would rather put in a videotape and let the children just sit there and veg out on TV. So once again, as a community, I think we should come together and insist that every school system induce or introduce a physical education program as a mandatory course. Every child needs it. There's not one child that does not need physical education. And last but not least, we have our electronic babysitters, as I call them. We have our PlayStations, our computers, our Xboxes, Guitar Heroes, and even cell phones. These items have replaced kickball, softball, baseball, football. Kids aren't interested in that anymore. They can play it all on a game in front of a TV in the comfort of their own home. Parents need to limit these items. These items need to be rewards. If you do good at your football game tonight, son, you can play your Xbox this weekend. 
If you do good on your homework, the PlayStation is yours. Other than that, they do not need to be electronic babysitters. They need to have chores and other household things to keep their mind occupied. Reading a good book would be another fine candidate for that. In conclusion, I would like to say that we as parents, grandparents, and as a community can overcome childhood obesity by talking to our congressmen, talking to our school boards, getting together and letting them know that these Physical education classes, nutrition classes, health classes, and nutritional meals are a healthy part of a child's development. And without these things, our children are going to grow up with <coughs> the worst health problems that America has ever seen. And I thank you for coming this evening, and I hope you enjoyed my speech. Thank you. <laughs>